Afternoon guys. It's uh, 20 past 1 in the afternoon on Thursday. Thursday the 4th of February. Shut up you stupid door. Okay. Just playing the big farm game and the dog was barking because he wanted feeding. That's one of the most annoying features of this game because he will continuously bark until you do click on him to feed him. Pigs, dung, collect everything, apples, cabbage, eggs. I'm too slow to collect that, never mind. Right. No. Do twenty. Just doing this as quick as I can. Feed the pigs, feed the cows, we'll do some pig feed, I don't even know what I need to grow crop wise, uh, yeah, let's go for some wheat, can do some cow feed with it. It's going to take about six hours, but I won't put anything on the ship, I guess I can. I can put the almonds on, sell the apples. Ah, eggs, milk, so I need eggs and corn to complete that contract. tree or whatever the bloody hell it is. Call my farm, a smaller farm. Just upgraded all my fields. Almonds. Make some doodah. Should be bothered to do for now. Right, so I've been out in town already this morning, got my food, well, it would have been lunch, I suppose, technically breakfast, but lunch, <laughs> brunch. Uh, just finally taken a photo of those Fords, the boss man on uh, Facebook. They're up there on the bench somewhere. I've got that parcel all packaged up and labelled up ready. I've got fat ass on my lap. Uh, bought this in a charity shop this morning. We've obviously um, pack tested several um, electrical items because they've got quite a few on the shelf. I don't know why they don't do it more often, you know. I mean, anyone can uh, can um, train to pat test. You don't have to be a qualified electrician because it's literally just a look over to make sure it's not damaged, which I can see this isn't. There's no dents, there's no damage to the lamp holder. The bulb is mine. No damage to the cable switch seems to function. You just plug it into your pat testing machine and uh, it will test continuity for continuity and whatnot between Earth Live and Neutral to make sure there's no leak between each or breaks in the circuit that could be dangerous and that, that is it. You don't need to be a qualified electrician. So, this is actually a non serviceable lamp. You can't actually. Uh, 
remove any of this, not that I can see anyway. But it's got a photographic mini clamp on it. So I presume from the shade it is meant to be used in sort of photography scenes, so it does give off a nice flood of light. I probably could do with a brighter bulb. It doesn't actually give me a wattage rating in there, I don't think. No. It's got batch code on it. But there's no Oh yeah it does. I found it it's forty watt. Or a 9 watt energy saver, which I'll probably put in there because it works just as well as the 40 watt bulbs I've, or the 40 watt bulb I've got in there. So, I've got a lamp that I should be able to clamp to the top of that. So, bonus, all for £4.95. Round it off, fiver. So, I've got to take a photo of the BMX. Paint is still tacky. I'm surprised that hasn't dried over there, actually. I'm probably going to take a wander into town again. In fact, before I do, I'm going to pack these up. Um, I need to find a better box. I've got that one, but I think it's going to be too deep. But it's going to be a better box. And like I said before, with um, the post office's pricing, ain't going to make a friggin' difference, is it? Right. Actually, for that lot, what I could actually do... I might be able to cut that down. I think I'll do that. But I'm going to get that sorted and packed and posted before I do anything else. I'm not looking forward to it because it's got to go to the Republic of Ireland. 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 No, I can't do an Irish accent. It's not working. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do that and... Uh, I'm not sure what else I'll do. Yeah, I've got some batteries to charge. Got some in the charger there, got some on the charge. Some to check, because I charged them overnight, so I want to see if they've actually taken charge. Anyway, I'll do all that and I'll um, check back in. Yeah, I've just got back from town with Mum. She um, popped up, but she's got another car. Yep, she's already sold the old one, and uh, bought another one. She's now got a Toyota Avensis, uh, 2005, five-door hatchback, two-litre turbo diesel. And uh, it's a pretty clean car. For its age, it was 11 years old. Runs nice. Feels nice. Airbags all around it. Got airbags coming out of the fucking ass on that thing. <laughs> Which ain't a bad thing. It's got your drivers and passenger airbags, then it's got pillar air ba airbags, and it's got rear pillar airbags and side impact airbags. And it's got the works basically. So, yeah, sort of typical of Toyota, I suppose. Um, I suppose it helps that I am a Japanese car fan. Especially with um, Toyota, Honda, and Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi mostly. Uh, but as I've said before, I like lots of different cars. And there's some I like from America, like the Ford Mustang. Or the Dodge Charger. That's another one.
Just playing a game of uh, solitaire cookie. It's not a bad game. This one's quite relaxing. It's got some relaxing music and the layout. I think is quite nice. You can win game coins, and you bet game coins. But obviously, if you win less than what you bet, then you technically lose. But, uh, I can't, I'll, tell, I'll show you what level I am at in a minute. You don't get to flick around the cards more than once, so you get to flick through them once. Which um, makes it difficult, but not impossible. What if I go on this particular table, each card that goes to the top here is worth nine coins, I believe. Something like that. I haven't really been paying attention to the um what the coin values are to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to get to actually make any coin profit, I've got to win over 300, because 300 coins is the minimum bet on this table. It's not real money, so you can just play around to your heart's content on a game like this. That's why I like it. You know, there's nothing serious about it. There's a game, one that my mum plays, you go up against other players, and you've got to um, beat other players' scores in order to progress, it's called Solitaire Tournament. I don't like that. I prefer this one where I can just go at my own pace, just flick over, yeah, no, I'm out, can't make any more moves, end game, click yes, and you get this spinning multiplier, lots of different values on this multiplier wheel, I think the biggest is 100 times 100, I've got times one so it doesn't change. Continue spin again for gems. So I've made a loss. What level am I at? I'm level 16. There's still some more here that they haven't done yet. Minimum bet on this one is 100,000 coins. Well, I don't even have that many up there. I can do a 20,000 bet, but I can't even get 20, 000, more than 20,000 on this one, let alone. The um, others, so I just like to play this one till I can, you know, really build up my coins. Just play it like any other ordinary solitaire game, you know, red, black, red, black, red, black, counting down in values. So, like red 9 on black 10, black 8 on red 9, etc. usual it is just a version of solitaire except uh, you can only flick through the card deck up here once which is annoying but I suppose it adds to the challenge and like I said it's not impossible because I have done it more than once um, if you've got those diamonds or gems whatever they are you can buy another flip of the cards I've been saving them up because I'm not really interested at the minute in getting the game out or winning, whatever you want to call it. Three of spades, can I drop that anywhere? Nope. Two of hearts, nope. Ace of hearts, there we go. That's 27 coins won already. Yay! Nine, eight, seven. Ooh. What's under the other seven? You can um, back up one move as well. I just like to flick around to see what I think my best move is going to be if I can move two of the same card. I'm going to stick with that one. That might be the bad move, but we'll see. Two of diamonds, three of diamonds. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Three of clubs. I can move that anywhere. Clubs, four diamonds, yep. I do hate it when it doesn't actually register a click. Two of clubs. 
No, that would be better if that was a two of spades. Four of hearts, yes. <laughs> three of clubs, ace of clubs, there we go. Two of clubs, three of clubs. Any more? Is that it? That's it. Money coins. Just making sure I can't move any cards. Because the number of times I'll miss a move. Which does kind of piss you up. Oh shit, see? I missed that one, I forgot. I'll move the king over. The seven over. The jack on the queen. That ten over. That ten on that jack. That jack over. And that is it, I think. And that king down out of the way. Three of hearts, four of hearts, five of clubs. Six and seven of clubs. Uh, that's it. Two of spades. <laughs> the three of spades is where I can't get it. What oh, bitch. Uh, that's me out. 153 coins won. So click yes. Now what do I get for the multiplier? I'm going to make this the last one. Oh, yes, the times 100. Oh, that's the biggest one I've ever had. <laughs> 15,300 coin win. <laughs> Lucky win, that one. So what does that take me up to? 99,115 coins. Woo! It's a shame it wasn't real money, but... <laughs> All in the name of fun... <laughs> Right. I'll come out of there now. Anyway. Got my Lego that I wanted. I went back to the charity shop that I got that lamp from. And decided to grab this sandwich toaster as well. Because I've wanted one for a long while. And this is a Breville. And it's been used, but it doesn't look like it's been used a lot, to be honest. Sandwich toasty maker. I need to go and get some cheese now. So I'm gonna have a cheese toasty. Oh, that's, that's my sister's fault. I'm gonna blame my sister. Right. Well, those vans on there. I need to price up those Ford Transit vans. I don't know what to ask for them though. Tried to f oh yes, and I forgot. I got another light. Surprise, surprise, you know, I can't resist. <laughs> Found it little. I don't know what the wattage is of this, but it is a remote controlled LED light. And I can change all the colours. Have it fade, I can have it strobe, flash, smooth, I can do a lot with it. I don't know. If I like it, I might get another one. But, well, I'm going to test it to see if it works, but I will um, show it on the other camera when the batteries are charged as well. Because I don't think it'll come up very well on this one. Anyway, that side. I'm going to stick that bulb in a fitting. And uh, we'll see if that works. But first, we need to decide what I'm going to do, or what, how I'm going to price these up. I don't know, what, pound a pair, would that be too much? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14... And I've got to sort out P&P, &P and he wants it recorded, signed for. So uh, I'll do that through Royal Mail, I think might be the best option. I'll, I'll have a look on their website in a little while. Anyway, I'll uh, 
check back in. Right. I've been a bit busy. I've started on a bike. This one is not going to be for sale. It's going to have specific use. Uh, I'm helping my friend this weekend. Um, and uh, we need a second bike to tow the second trailer with. So, I've been meaning to build this frame into a bike. Excuse me. Um, for months to tow that trailer with and the one out front I figured as I need one for the weekend I might as well get on with it so I'm just going to pretty much see what I can slap together all it's got to do is do the job I don't want to put too much effort into it because if it's going to pull a trailer there's always a chance the wheel could get buckled um, tyres could pop chains could snap because they're not designed to pull the sort of size of trailer as we pull so no I'm not going to put too much effort into it and that might get knocked over or fall over and get marked and all well, this frame's full of bloody marks anyway so that doesn't matter so I've actually put those forks in here um, I did want a different pair in there but I don't have the um, adapter for the top. Although I could still put, I could put a different pair in actually, because a bit of weight at the front will be a bonus. Um, I need to get. Well, it's only a front disc on this set of forks, so I would have to uh, fit a disc brake to it. I do have a front wheel that's got a buckle in it, but yeah, that's still roll. <laughs> like I said, I'm not putting too much effort into this. Um, it's just got to do the job, at least for the weekend, but uh, it's got front derailleur on it, I've got rear derailleurs, I can whack one on, I've got chains, I've got bits for the bottom bracket. Got crank, I can um, chuck on it. I've uh, got the handlebar, I've got brakes, I'm not sure what I'll do for gear shifters yet. Um, I do have a little bit of change left, so if I do have to go and get a gear cable, which I will have to, and possibly a brake cable with a rear brake, and possibly the front brake. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I should have one long enough for the front brake. I don't know. Well, it depends if I swap the forks or not. In fact, I'm going to go with the cover because I've still got a bit of time before it gets too late. And I'll pull out the other pair of forks. And uh, I can see which ones we want to, which ones I'd rather have in. So keep in mind, the other forks I've got um, in mind are um, rather badly scratched. But I don't know how well it's going to look in the bike either, because this GT doesn't look too bad with the white ones in. Anyway, we'll be back in a bit. Those are the forks I've got in mind. I do have a black version, but they have to have an adapter go in here, because they are threaded, not threadless. Um, and I haven't got the adapter. Well, I've got one somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. So, um, I've got a horribly painted purple pair downstairs, but I was, I've, I'm, I'm in two minds whether to use those ones or leave these ones in. I don't think I'm going to keep those handlebars in there. I just found them on the landing a minute ago, uh, so put those in. Um, I'll drag it and whack on it. I'm sure I can whack a chain on it. Uh, I'm gonna put the stand on it as well. That'll make life a little bit easier if I've got to stop and I've got nowhere to lean the bike. It's 
easy enough to swap them, and I really could do with the weight on the front end, so I'm not really fussed if the forks don't actually compress. It'll just get ridden as a um, rigid frame bike. And I might, and I may very well still go for front disc brake because I've got brake calipers and I've got the disc wheel down in the shed. That does mean I've got to uh, go on a um, mission to go and get the wheel. <laughs> as in, empty the shed out. I can do that tomorrow. But uh, I've got most of the parts. I, mean, I could actually sit and put the bottom bracket on tonight and the seat post clamp on. But I've got to go digging in the um, cupboard out on the landing because I'll need a different handlebar. I've got an old seat I can whack on downstairs. Um, v brakes downstairs again when I go and get the um, calipers. And I've got to go down the shed to go and get the wheel with the um, brake rotor on it. I'll just whack these wheels in temporarily. I will use the back wheel, but I've got a um, Mega Drive freewheel. Um, first gear is really, really big compared to the other six. Um, and I'm in two minds whether to put that on or perhaps a standard, a standard seven-speed freewheel. I'll, uh, I'll have a look tomorrow. Like I said, I've got to actually go digging in the cupboard because I need a couple of tars as well. Tubes are not a problem. Um, I'm going to use this back wheel. It just hasn't got a free wheel on it. So I'll slap a free wheel on it. Yeah, and at least with the front disc, I'm going to have a bit more um, stopping power. I hope. <laughs> I do hope. <laughs> anyway sort of dragged it upstairs because like I said I am meant to be going to my friends tomorrow but I realised I've got to wait for the courier to pick that up so God knows when that'll be it'll be after that's collected so I can sit you know from whenever I get up which will be fairly early tomorrow um, and just get the breakfast and do some work on this probably will have to run to Wilco's and get a couple of cables I will, just for my safety, add some lights on this, just in case we do uh, um, any transportation in the dark. And I've got those silicon lights that I can just wrap around his trailer if, uh, if we need lights, so that's not a problem. I'll take those with me over the weekend as well. Anyway, I'm going to disappear because uh, I need to go to use... I need to edit a bit. I need to use the bathroom. I'll just sat back down at the PC. I've uh, got bottom bracket problems with that. Uh, I've tried to fit a stand one, but it doesn't like it, so... I do have a sealed one that I can fit, I hope. But, uh... I'll try and piss around with that tomorrow. I've given up for the night now. Um, yeah, I've got all day to work on that tomorrow, or at least most of it. I want to get it done, well, before the carrier turns up to pick that parcel down there, up. It's all labelled, ready to go. I posted the other one to, uh, Ireland. Ouch. So, that's on its way today. No idea how long it's going to take, but we'll get there. It didn't take long for the money to get here anyway. Huh. I'm sure it should be. He should receive it at least by Monday, Tuesday. Turn this out off now, and I'll leave that on. Hmm. Going to go with front disc brake on this. Uh, so, 
Tomorrow I've got to go in a cupboard and go digging for crank. Brake levers. My box of gear shifters I can bring in here. I'm sure I can find something. I'll let you know I've got something. But I will need... I will definitely need at least one gear cable. And at least one brake cable. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so, yeah. I suppose if I need cables, I'd have to go and get those early. So, I know the courier won't be. Probably won't be here until around, uh, I don't know, mid afternoon, maybe even late afternoon, if they turn up this time. Last time I booked it, they didn't for three days. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see you. Fixed me light to the post, and I've put some tape around the cable down the so just to hold it to the pole. And the cable that was stuck up the inside of the lamp, this one, I'm just going to make that into a short extension lead. I've got plugs and I've got the sockets for it, so I'll just plug it in and use it that way. Safest way. Um, it's not a very thick three-core cable, but it will do, as it's only going to be running the light. So I'm not going to use that extension cord that I'm going to make on anything else. That'd be fine to run that lamp. <sighs> Oh, that's where we had a grease gun. I was looking for that. Nice. To... Yeah, that's what I want to put on, I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to end up buying brand new bottom bracket bearings for down there, and I don't really want to do that. Not for the, you know, the heavy duty work this is going to be doing. I must get a clamp in the seat post because it's uh, slid down again. I had to use a pair of grips to get that post out of that frame before it disappeared in there too far. Uh, I'll be able to chuck some grips together or be a problem. They may not match but like I said, who gives a rat's, rat's ass with this one? Uh, let's see, post clamps, that's not what I'm after. I know what I'm after, but I don't know if I've... I've got half of one. That's what I was after, a quick, quick, quick release one. Might be able to pinch it out of that. Because I don't think I've got any of the really small ones left. Um... Oh, actually, I might have. I think I may have been looking in the wrong area. Oh, lots of random stuff in this box. Cable pulleys for ladies, or the older ladies' mountain bikes, and even road bikes. Some road bikes had those because of um, the type of brake they had. single speed I built had gears and weren't, you know, just a single speed, I could have used that. But, uh, this, if you look, it's got that type of drop out on the rear. That's what I need for the hitch. Um, and I haven't got any bikes like that apart from my Claude Butler, and I am not using my pride and joy to tow a friggin' trailer. No way. And like I said, uh, I've, this is, I've been wanting to build this for this purpose for um, several months, actually th I think since summer I've had it sitting in the shed. 
No, I can't find a better one. I might try and... Fuck me. That was going down on this again. Right. There's one tub I want to look in. Not this one. Real nuts. It's not that one. That's what's left of my brake pads for V-brakes. The rest are down there. I haven't picked them up yet. Am I lazy? Yep. I've got this one. That's... Nope. Neither of those two. It's not going to be in that one. That one. And that's the one I thought it was going to be in, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> in fact, I haven't got a lot in that one. Uh, and that's just large bearings for, for the one-piece cranks. Well, that was a resounding no, I don't. <laughs> I'll find something. Even if I have to put a nut and bolt in the bloody thing, that'll do for the time being. Just to stop the seat from falling. What will I do with that? There it is. I'll just quickly whip this off this clamp. I have a push. Ooh, actually it may work. It may very well. work. Yep. And the advantage about having a quick release is it means my friend can ride it because he can raise the seat. Uh, because of his knees, he has to have the seat as high as, well, as high as possible. Uh, so he's not bending his knees too much. Me, I should say me. So uh, that would be handy. So if we have to swap bikes for whatever reason, we can. All right. So at least I've got somewhere with that bit. I don't think the cranks I've got are actually going to fit this bottom bracket anyway. Because there's uh, not a lot of room. I'll try. I'll get the bottom brackets out that I have, and I'll try it. Because you never know. But I'll try it before I put it on the bike and see if there's going to be enough clearance. Because I think that's, that's my best option if I can get it to work. Anyway, I'll chuck this lot back in here. Don't actually... Or I could just throw it all over the floor. You know, that works as well. Completely empty of grease, so there's no point in keeping that out. I know that one's still got grease in, but I'll have to refill it. I've got a tub of grease downstairs. I just find these a lot easier to apply the grease with, although I could do with a different nozzle on the end there. But, uh, oh my, it makes a lot of difference. And light off. Right. And while I'm in the yellow boxes in the cupboard, I'm going to find a better handlebar than that. That looks so low to the floor without tyres on, but if you think about it, by the time I get the tyres on the wheels and pumped up, that's going to be another two inches higher, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I've got to get out of the cupboard. Tires, tubes. Um, so I need... From the shed, I need seat. V-brakes. Front disc caliper. The um, front wheel with a disc. I think that is it from the shed. From the upstairs cupboard, I need cranks. Handlebar, 
Uh, China's on the landing. Brake levers, they're out there. Gear shifters, oh, I need um, handlebar grips, which are downstairs as well. I don't believe I've got any up here. I've got that thing, but that can go in the bin, actually. It's too chewed up on one end, then. Oh, good. Right. Well, this battery is going to die on this in the video. And enjoy the rest of my evening. Uh, I'm doing what? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> but, uh, let me find something. Oh, yeah. Just before I quit the I'll put the energy saver in there, but this has got full movement, you know. See? I'm going to. You know, on camera, that might help. It's got full movement. I can fully adjust it. I know it says not to put it on a pole, but I've got it on there. It's holding, so. You know, I could have that sort of behind me or something, or there's an extra light on the bench or wherever I'm working. Or even if I'm working on that, I've got the extra light over there. Which is uh, exactly what I wanted it for. I know it may not look the tidiest with that cable running up there, but if it wasn't for that switch, I'd have dropped it and the cable was longer. I'd have dropped it down, but I suppose what I could have done is cut it off here, bought a new switch that I could wire on myself, and uh, have the cable, another cable, you know, a longer cable, mounted on the other, connected to the other end, and up and over, and God, I'm struggling to explain things tonight. Ah. Right, that's it. I'm gone. I've had enough. That's it. I've had enough. Trust me to pick a dryer out of the box that doesn't have a cable clamp on it. Well, I've got a half, but I love looking in the box. I couldn't really rattle around. Oh, free wheel, that was the other thing. Contemplating with the idea of putting on that mega drive. Um, just because of that large first gear. That would make pulling heavier loads a lot easier. But I do need to get all gears working and brakes working. Shouldn't be, shouldn't, and of course, be a problem. Anyway, I'm going to go. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video.